We're all a little rusty here at Arise Exchange today, but thanks for sticking with us. In the corner office tonight, the super competitive world of helping people's skin look good. We sat down with the CEO of Priana, MD, Melissa Crane. Melissa, you've decided to get into one of the most competitively sectors of the cosmetics market, the skincare side. Yes. Why? Well, my passion is skincare. I've been in the industry for physician dispensed market for 15 years, and I've launched about 15 brands within the United States. My passion comes from helping people, and I have specific skin indications that are really my goal to treat, which are the hardest to treat skin indications. Yeah, let me ask you about that. Because the market is so crowded, how do you stand out? And there's many different ways you have to stand out. Sure. The product has to do something differently, and you also have to fight your way on the shelves. So let's start That's with correct. what the product does and then how you distribute it. Okay, so the products that we created, we're a specialty skincare line, and that we offer versatile skin solutions for all skin types. That is our goal, that we have an easy, affordable, paraben-free skincare line. It is a competitive market, however, most patients are sick and tired of using eight or nine products throughout their day with this huge maintenance plan. Our goal is to keep it very easy, very affordable, with products and ingredients that are anti-inflammatory, that help to calm the skin, that use peptides and ingredients that help to reduce lines and wrinkles. And so we actually use a variety of ingredients that target multiple indications so that the patient can use less products and still get that beneficial result. Okay, so from a business standpoint now, then how did you get it into wherever you're selling it? Right. And the product placement mm -hmm. of where it is in stores? Correct. So right now we are a physician dispense line. So currently so physicians. we're in physician offices and we're also available on our website because we understand that we're not, we may not have a physician in Nebraska or Alaska mm -hmm. and we do still want the products available to consumers. So right now we have about nine different sales reps throughout the United States and that's going to be growing. We're in 50 plus physician offices. We are one of the largest vendors uh, within the largest dermatology chain in the United States. Um, and so that has been our entry into the market. And so I always like to ask entrepreneurs how they start, where they get the money, and sort of the right. obstacles they, they face, which is often getting the money. Sure. So for me, it's very unique in that I chose to fund it myself. So I am still a trainer for a company. I'm an so independent you literally trainer. have skin in the game. I have skin <laughs> in the game. I'm in the grind every day. Yep. And that's what's really unique is that when you're, I actually have to train the offices. I'm usually holding a patient's hand with a patient that either has an anti-aging need or it might be a child, a kid that's 18 or 19 that suffered from acne their entire life. Where does you draw the line between being a cosmetic product and being a medical product and making it clear to your customers that it's not necessarily a medical product? Correct, so cosmeceuticals is really what we sell, which is high-end anti-aging skincare for things like rosacea, anti-aging, acne, tone, texture, for things like topical creams that are for pharmaceutical products, that is a totally different class of products. And you know, you're right, it is competitive in the fact that you're looking at a huge range of products that are available, but it's also competitive in trademarking. So you look sure. at how you're gonna develop the brand, and most entrepreneurs look at how you're gonna execute that brand. It might be a dream, but that dream has to come to reality. So you, you, are, you probably did a lot of face-to-face -face sales and picking That's up correct. the phone and to get it into the physician's offices. Where do you come down on some of the controversy with cosmetics, with animal testing and the ingredients that go in there? Correct, so we chose to have a brand like I said before, this versatile for all skin types, but we don't use any uh, parabens, so we are a paraben-free company. We also don't do any animal testing at all. Um, I, I really wanna develop a clean line that I myself can use. I have a sensitive skin. It's very hard to find a product that's effective, that uses the acids that you need to look young, for sensitive skin. Right now you're being offered online and through physicians' offices. Correct. There's only so much scalability you have there. How do you grow the company? So that is gonna be where we may bring in a capital investor, where we want to make the brand available to consumers. Right now, we choose to go into the physician market because it's what I know. And we have you know, 13 different trademarks and the company's grown, uh, but we can only go to a certain point, you're right. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be what's best for the brand, and that might be bringing in an investor that has help with distribution. Real quick, website? Website is www.priyanamd.com. Melissa, thank you so much. That thank you so much.